Hey, all my peeps. So today we are going to do the top 10 books you need to read before leaving Jefferson. And I've got a variety of books in a variety of genres. So are you ready? Here we go. The first book is Maximum Ride by James Patterson, very popular author. We have the entire series. This is the story of a group of um, teenagers who are hybrids. They have wings and some powers, but the government is trying to keep them under wraps and they collect them all and basically kidnap them to experiment on them, but they're a little bit stronger than what the what their captors think they should be. Anyway, great story, great series, fast read, moves along very quickly. I highly recommend this series of books. So don't forget Maximum Ride. Next, I know you've heard of this book. It's one of my favorites. One of my favorite singers uh, is mentioned in the book, and it was a Netflix show. It's called Dumplin'. Dumplin' is the story of a girl that is, um, let's just say she's going to be in a beauty pageant, but she's not what people think she should be beauty pageant material because she a big girl. Big girls really rule, and Dumplin' loves Dolly Parton. But her mother, who is always a pageant director, is shocked that she is going to try to enter the beauty pageant for the year. Dumplin is an awesome girl. She's got great confidence. And guess what? She gets the boy, too. Read Dumplin. Next is a series of books that is paranormal that was made into a movie. This is called Cirque de Freak. This book is happens to be The Vampire's Assistant. Was made into a movie, a great series of paranormal about vampires, werewolves, other uh, creepy stories. So if you want a good series to read in paranormal, Cirque de Freak is a great place to start. Next, a great story with a great meaning behind it, with a shocking ending. This is called My si Sister's Keeper by Jody Picolet. My Sister's Keeper is the story of a girl who was born just to save her sister who has cancer. It goes through their ups and downs. It also goes through her suing for the rights to her body to decide whether she wants to continue helping her sister with treatment which in the end, she's not being selfish. She is just um, following her sister's request because her sister is tired of fighting the cancer. A heartwarming story of love and a sister's love. This is my sister's keeper. You're gonna cry, get the tissues. Next is a classic story, an easy fast read. In from the fantasy section, this is Bridge to Terabithia. Yes, it was made into a movie. It is also a Newbery Award winner, which means that it is like the number one for that year of books to read. Uh, the story of two friends who discover, uh, by going in the woods and exploring, they discover a new land called, and they name it Terabithia. So this is their story and, and what they find in the kingdom of Terabithia. Now, very popular book by an author from Indiana. This is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. If you've never read it, I highly recommend it. It's about a girl um, who falls in love with a boy. They both have cancer. And it goes through their cancer journey together. A heart-wrenching story of love and very sad, but just you feel so triumphant because of their love for each other. This is the fault in our stars. You gotta read it. 
Now, this one is a rather new one. It is a series now, and it's called One of Us is Lying. One of Us is Lying is about four kids in detention. And what happens during their day of detention? And yes, one of them is lying. Hmm. Great mystery. Highly recommend it. Of course, mystery is one of my favorites. So try this book out. It is a, it's a trilogy. Next is one of my favorites because uh, it was written about the time that I was in school. Uh, it came out then. This is The Face on the Milk Carton. Now, back in the day, milk cartons were a way for um, them to advertise missing children. So every time we would go to school and get our lunch on our milk carton, there would be missing children on there. I know that sounds weird to y'all, but we didn't have Walmart back then where they put up all the missing children. So this was a way for them to get the word out of kids that were missing around the United States. This is about a young girl who sees her face on a milk carton at school one day. And then her whole world comes crashing down. Who are her parents? Where are her real parents? Was she kidnapped? Who took her? And then she starts having flashbacks of memories of eating ice cream, um, a stranger coming up to her. So this mystery is so suspenseful right into the very end. You help her find out who she really is. Highly recommend this one. The face on the milk carton. We got several copies. Would love for you to come get one or request it. Lastly, uh, another heart wrenching story. Um, this is called If I Stay. It's the story of a girl who um, is in a car wreck and she's the only one that survives and she's in a coma. And a nurse whispers in her ear while she's in the coma and going and comes into the hospital. It's up to her if she stays. She's got to fight if she wants to live. And it goes through her time in her coma and uh, her having flashbacks of the life she's lived and the fight that she has in her to fight for her life. So this is called If I Stay. It is also a series um, and was made into a movie. These books are the top 10 books that I think you need to read before you leave Jefferson. So go to our pay, our Power School page, the Jefferson Power School page, and check out one of these books. We'd be glad to have them delivered to you. Um, if you are a remote student, remember you can request them and then have someone come pick them up for you. You request them and they'll be ready for you the next day in the office. I hope you have a great week. Everyone keep on keeping on. We're got, we are going to rock this semester. Just keep on, stay up with, on your work. Get the help that you need. If you need que have questions, get a grown up to answer. One of the teachers here will help you. So I'm gonna say bye for now. And I hope you have a great day.